bankers assets declaration we are not in a military regime Dele Momod tells EFCC you know the new move of the new FCC uh, guy now is to be asking all politicians for assets declaration this is what's usually done when they want to probe people and we know that because um, the north has been in power talking about president Muhammad buhari there is an um, uh, there is not a, it's not constitutionally written but there is just this uh, on disclosed thing that goes on from the north to the south and back to the north and right now the North is trying very hard to discredit the South so that a Northerner can come again into power and continue with this reign of torture, uh, you know, and uh, Maeti Allah chairman riding in convoy of millions, hundred millions of cars. Anyway, that being said, uh, Dele Momodo has replied that, listen, you say this a uh, uh, EFCC new guy that they brought in to probe the, the South because there is nobody in the North being probed at the moment. Not even Ganduje who was caught coll commit, co collecting bribe. Not a single person is being probed in the North. Yet we all know what is going on. Not in Niger, 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 Day. Anyway, my people don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Hmm, God help us, Nigeria. Hmm, help us so oh good. Bankers assess declaration we are not in a military regime mm -hmm. Dele Momod tells EFCC media Mogun Dele Momod has questioned the order given by the economic and financial crime commission directing all bankers and other operators in the Nigerian financial system to declare their assets by June 1st 2021 reacting to the EFCC directives Momod said Nigeria is not in a military regime and banks belongs to private sector. He stated this on Thursday via his verified Twitter handle, Dele Momod, while urging the anti grief agencies to start declaration of assets from government agencies and politicians, and not to face innocent Nigerians, said this is where the real battle should start from. Don't use others as your you stick for work. Start with the real core people. We know where those, where the asset declaration should be. We know those who have cheated, cheated and is defrauding Nigerians. Let's start from the government and the politicians. Why leave them out and face the common man and woman on the street? Let's start with the very government of today. Who told us they had nothing to hide? But recently, they have houses all over the nations of the world in the names of different family members and friends. So let's start from that very place and know where we are going. We are not in a military regime. Why not start with the government agencies and politicians? Banks belong largely to private sector, he has tweeted. We call that the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC, Director of Banks and other operatives in Nigeria, other operators in the Nigerian financial sex sectors and system to declare their assets. The chairman Bawa gave the order while speaking with journalists at the State House Abuja after a meeting with President Muhammad Buhari. You see, Buhari eh, he, he is looking for every way to get money. So first of all, now they are into church. They have come back again with the uh, karma rule in church. Uh, they want to get know what the church is making. They are going now to the bank. They want to know because remember that they are already selling the nation's assets to, to fuel their greed. Oh, in case you don't know, you've not heard. Yes, they are selling Nigerian assets assets to, to be able to sponsor the budget for 2021. Remember that if um, if the world does not end, Jesus Christ does not come before the end of 2021, there is still 2022. So we don't know where they are going to get the finances to fund that. Meanwhile, the House of Representatives has said that they are bankrupt. So there is a lot going on and the government's eyes is everywhere looking for where they can get the next grab. Although the price of oil is advancing, money coming is not enough to fuel their greed. That's Nigeria for you why the main core sector in the country are being ignored education infrastructure economical growth productivity agriculture things like security are being put ridicule to the background because they have private jets they have legion of soldiers around them that protect them do you really think that anybody is doing anything about the security situation of the country i personally don't want to believe so I've not, I don't, I've not had the enough conviction to believe that they are doing enough at it. In America today, do you know how many states, you know, and do you know how they are able to keep things in decorum? Nigeria, Nigeria, 
is like one of the that's is like one state a very big state in america one yet one person is the governor over imagine 40 of that type so that's why they say anybody who is the president of america is the president of the world if you can coordinate countries so to say that is called state how much more so I, I don't believe nigerian government is doing anything about a security situation of the country the insecurity situation i don't personally believe it i believe that they are playing games with us because there are reason there are reasoning there are reasons beyond reasonable doubt that the government is part of the security situation. They are collecting money legally from the nation's treasury to pay for ransom here and there. So they know what they are doing. It's a game. There is, I mean, there are stakeholders in this matter. It has become a very lucrative, it's like Oye, na, 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 the new Oye way for Nigeria. If you know what that means, I'm saying, I just said it in broken English, what we say in Nigeria. It's called the new Oye well in Nigeria. You know, so there are people who are interested. The anti grief agency had also set a deadline for June the 1st for workers to declare to completely comply with the directive. The post bankers access declaration, we are not in a military regime. Dili Momodu has, te has tells, sends a message to the EFCC telling them that this appears to be the first in a long time. So this is where we are as a nation. We are not in a military regime yet. Uh, what is happening is more than really military regime. Oh. I don't think that the military regime, <laughs> you know, in those days when I was young, I remember when they used to say, uh, they used to do, there's this, you know, paint, there's this paint um, buckets when you finish painting, the, 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 the paint buckets, Nigerians will now uh, put, um, you know, sodas when you go to, um, what was it called now, carpenter's workshop. So those things they saw out of the wood to get it to be smooth so that they can produce maybe wood uh, table chair and the rest that's what people were now pouring into that point book i remember i was very young and they would now put a bottle in between and try to light it that was what we were using to cook at some time whether abacha must go so i can't remember very clearly but i remember in fact those days seem to be much more better because at least you had security you know so i don't know whether we're going from bad to worse or worse to bad whatever it is guys let's keep praying for this country we did not choose the country. You did not choose to be born in Nigeria. You did not choose to be born in Nigeria. You can see that God chose it for you. That's to tell you that there is a purpose, there is a plan, and there is a reason. And one of those reasons, I believe, is that we should pray for the country. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Bye for now.